Hey everybody, welcome to my new video. In this new video, I'm going to talk you through how you can use the new preview feature to password protect your Azure Static web apps. Now this is an Azure Static web app I have, just a very simple one, a um, placeholder really for a website that I bought, a URL that I have. Now hosted on the back end, it is an Azure Static web app. Now I only have one environment. I have a production environment. I don't have a staging environment. However, you can have multiple environments for your Azure Static web apps. Now this Azure Static web app is running on the standard SKU and you need to be running the standard SKU to be able to use the password protection feature within it. So we head on over to configuration and then general settings. And this is where we can configure our password. Now we have a few options for the password protection. We can disable it, we can um, enable it so it's only protecting staging environments, or we can do it for both staging and production. Because I only have production, I'm going to select protect both staging and production environments. Now I add in a password that anyone can use to add uh, get access to the site. This needs to be at least eight characters long, contain upper, lower, a number and a symbol as well. So it needs to be a complex password. So we'll enter in the password and click on save. We now go and grab the URL for this website. And as we can see, we now are blocked from accessing it and are asked for a password. So we put in that visitor password that we set and we are allowed to actually view the website. So you can see it's very easy to enable that password protection on your Azure Static Web Apps if you're using the standard SKU. Now this feature is still in preview, so there's potentially more to come from this feature, um, but hopefully this has been useful in showing you the capabilities inside Azure Static Web Apps and I'll hopefully catch you for another video. Thanks for joining folks.